you go home. Good morning. We have a product review Monday. Morning. On a Tuesday. So bam, we're going inside. I got this awesome product. This awesome product that I love to eat right out of the jar. You can get it over at Trader Jake's. Also at your Trader Joe's. Because it's cowboy caviar. This stuff is yummy, yummy, yummy. It's got that real corn, and you know what I like to do? Put some chips in a frying pan. Put some of this on top. Put some cheese, melt it together, and you got some nice nachos. Good morning. And you got some nice nachos. But, good morning. It's not all amazing. It's not all amazing over at Trader Jake's today. Because they're doing something a little wrong. And I don't mean to make a stink about it, but when you're given a product that's amazing, such as cowboy caviar, and then you give it to them in a bag that breaks like this one, you got a problem. Because you're essentially throwing money into the cement. Okay, that's no good. That's no good. This bag, as you can see here, <laughs> it broke on me almost dropping lots of groceries that I just spend money on at Trader Joe's. So when your quality of the product that you're encasing all your other nice products in fails, it's really that weakest link. You see right here, that weakest link. And that's, that's no good. So it looks like Trader Joe's may be better off with plastic. I don't know. But, but when their bags start to break like this, handles rip off it, it looks like they need a little bit of extra epoxy right in this area so until they fix that I'm gonna be extra careful with these bags and you should be too this is sad I'll eat my computers on hills good to see